Despite their best efforts, Paris Saint-Germain lost the first leg of their Champions League semi-final 1-0. Here's a look back at an intense first leg. A yellow wall to climb to open the gates of paradise. The Rouge T Blue were engaged in a historic journey as they returned to the buzzing atmosphere of Dortmund for the first leg of their Champions League semi-final. It was a big night for Paris Saint-Germain, who went into the match with a particularly attractive lineup. Luis Enrique opted for a fast-paced attack featuring the Mbappe barcola trio, supported on either flank by Nuno Mendes and Akrav Hakimi. Dortmund PSG is an exciting fixture. Even more so when it is played in a stadium where no team has managed to win in Europe this season. We all remember the draw here in autumn, in the group of death. Tonight, they were ready to do battle. In the roar of the PAC stadium, the high intensity of BVB's game was to be expected. The opening minutes set the scene, fierce duels, hard passes and tough tackles. We were witnessing a real battle between 22 caged lions. It was to be expected and the intensity of the match confirmed our predictions, with the Germans putting monumental pressure on our defense. In this electric atmosphere, our red and blues had to show a lot of character to resist. While still taking it all in, the Parisians held out like warriors, until Fulkrug converted a quick attack to open the scoring, 1-0, 36. Frustrating, but not discouraging. We knew we'd have to face some headwinds here, and things soon got worse with Lucas Hernandez's injury, who came off just before halftime. But the Parisians had plenty to offer themselves. After the break, they completely reversed the balance of power. There was everything, intent, determination, and even chances. The only thing missing was a goal. In fact, they came very close, with Kylian Mbappe and Akrav Hakimi both hitting the post to increase the pressure on the home side's goal, 50. The Parisians had really started to get going. As the minutes ticked by, the tension rose, and the electricity in the air gradually gave way to real aggression from the home side. Once again, we had to resist the temptation to get sucked into the trap and keep our cool. Asminidimble, set up by Kylian Mbappe, came up against Kobel, 71, before seeing his shot go wide, 79. We had to keep pressing, again and again. And not let up at the other end, like our captain Marken Haas, who pulled off a heroic and passionate block, 82. So yes, at the end of a particularly intense semi-final first leg, Dortmund came out on top. But there were plenty of positives to take from the match, including 11 shots from Paris in the second half, two efforts that hit the post, more possession than our hosts and a constant fighting spirit. The marks of a team that is far from having said its last word. Although the Germans are leading on the scoreboard at the moment, it's only half time. We'll have to wait until the second leg to see a knockout. In six days' time, our red and blues will return to their Parc de Princes backyard to try and write a new chapter in the European history of Paris Saint Germain. Time for the second leg. Borussia Dortmund have put one foot in the final of the 2023 24 Champions League thanks to a 1 0 victory over a wasteful Paris Saint Germain at the Signal E. Jena Park. Niklas Fulkrug's clinical first half finish settled the semi final first leg in the hosts' favour but BVB were fortunate that the French champions left their shooting boots at home, while they also let numerous chances to increase their advantage pass them by. While PSG received a pre-match boost with the news that Nuno Mendes was fit to start at left-back following an injury scare, the Portuguese quickly came under siege from a fired-up Dortmund side. Attacks down the right through Jadon Sancho and Julian Ryerson were proving particularly effective for BVB, who forced Gianluigi Donnarumma into the first meaningful save in the 14th minute, but the angle was too tight for Marcel Sabitzaga to beat the Italian. Down the other end of the field, a couple of half chances came and went for ex Dortmund product Asminidimble, but Kylian Mbappe was largely starved of service and did not manage a single attempt in the first 45. The same could not be said for his opposite number full Krug, through, as with 36 minutes on the clock, the Dortmund talisman broke the deadlock in true number 9 fashion. 
For all of their promising build-up sequences, it was one ball over the top that carved the PSG back line open, as Nico Schlotterbeck's inch-perfect pass sailed through to full Krug, who timed his run to perfection, took one exquisite touch and fired a low strike down to Donnarumma's right. Dortmund's lead was fully warranted, and things went from bad to worse for PSG when Lucas Hernandez was withdrawn through injury in the 42nd minute, Luis Enrique held fire on making an offensive change and introduced Lucas Biraldo in a like-for-like -like swap. With one minute of normal time remaining, Donnarumma once again denied Sabi Zucker, this time on the volley, to keep Dortmund's lead at just the one, and neither manager saw any need to make any half-time alterations. Edentierdick's men were highly fortunate to cling on to their lead just six minutes into the second period, though, as both Mbappe and Akrav Hakimi struck the inside of the post during a chaotic and ominous few seconds. The former then sent a stinging drive straight into Gregor Kobel's midriff in the 54th minute as PSG ramped up the pressure, but the ball just would not go in for the French champions, as Fabian Ruiz then horrifically sent a 56th minute header well wide with most of the goal at his mercy. Wastefulness was not just limited to the French champions, as Full Krug then spurned a magnificent chance for his second on the hour mark, volleying over the top from close range after brilliant work from Sancho to get to the byline. The Dortmund goal scorer then felt hard done by not to win a penalty after a slight, albeit inarguable, nudge in the back from Mendez as he rose for a header, and PSG soon went back to squandering opportunities. Dumble was the guilty party on two occasions, as Kobel managed to get a slight hand on his weak shot in the 72nd minute, eight moments before the Frenchman fired over the bar from Hakimai's brilliant cutback. Another close-range Ruiz header then cleared Kobel's bar in the 86th minute, leaving supporters perplexed as to how the score Aline was still 1-0, and after staving off more toothless PSG attacks, Tierdick's men took their seats in front of the yellow wall and rejoiced in earning a precious first-leg success. Before reuniting at the Parc de Princes next Tuesday night, Dortmund have Bundesliga matters to attend to this weekend, hosting Augsburg on Saturday, while Enrique's men have no leg one game penciled in and have six days to find solutions to their worrying profligacy. Niklas Fulkrug's stunning finish gave Borussia Dortmund the edge in the first leg of their Champions League semi-final against Paris Saint-Germain. Full Krug pounced in the 35th minute to seal a 1-0 victory but an end-to-end -end clash at Signal E. Juna Park could have been snatched by either team with chances arriving thick and fast in a furious second half. Jadon Sancho, on loan from Manchester United, was the most dangerous player on the pitch and he gave left-back Nuno Mendes a torrid time while creating a host of Dortmund's opportunities. The 24-year-old was at the heart of the host's brightest moments throughout a riveting contest, including launching the move that provided an early chance for Marcel Sabitzucker. But even Sancho's enterprise was eclipsed by the world-class skills shown by Full Krug as Dortmund surged into the lead. Collecting a pinpoint long pass out of defense from Nico Schlotterbeck, Full Krug controlled the ball with his right foot and then rifled it into the bottom of the net with his left. It was an exquisite finish that marooned keeper Gianluigi Donnarumma, but PSG were also exposed too easily by Fulkrug's run and their problems deepened when centre-back Lucas Hernandez limped off. Fulkrug then teed up Sabi Zucker with a delicate touch but the Austrian midfielder was denied by Donnarumma. PSG ended the first half without a single shot at goal and they came under renewed pressure soon after the interval following a surging run from Ian Motson, but Sancho was unable to make the most of his cross because of a slip. What followed was the Parisians' brightest spell of the match as the woodwork came to Dortmund's rescue twice in quick succession, first denying Kylian Mbappe's curling shot and then Akrav Hakimi from close range. Mbappe was then denied by keeper Gregor Kobel before Fabian Ruiz headed a great chance wide after being played in by Marken Haas. Dortmund showed they were still a threat when Sancho glided around Mendez with ease and found full Krug with a brilliant pass only for the striker to shin his shot high over the crossbar. Cries for a penalty after Full Krug appeared to be shoved in the air by Mendez were ignored by referee Anthony Taylor and the next chance of a pulsating second half fell to Asmina Dimble, who scuffed his strike. Dimble then drilled a great chance over as Dortmund's defense went to sleep and the drama continued when Sancho released Julian Brandt, but he made a mess of the shot. 
the door to Wembley is still open for Borussia Dortmund. Amid a breathtaking atmosphere, BVB beat Paris Saint-Germain 1-0, 1-0, in the UEFA Champions League semi-final first leg thanks to Niklas Fulkrug's goal and have thus put themselves in a decent starting position ahead of the return leg in France next Tuesday. The 77,000 BVB fans among the 81,365 spectators decked out Signal Ijuna Park entirely in yellow, made for a red-hot atmosphere and celebrated Niklas Fulkrug's deserved opener to make it 1-0 in the 36th minute. PSG pressed for an equalizer after the interval, twice striking the upright, but Borussia also had two more good opportunities through Fulkrug and Brandt. The group winners, BVB, and runners-up, PSG, were going head-to-head -head again in the semi-finals. It is the ninth time in the club's history that Borussia have reached the final four of a European competition. The previous meetings with the Parisians had produced one victory, three draws and two defeats, including a 2-0 loss on the road and a 1-1 draw on home turf this season. The record against French opponents in knockout matches is positive, BVB have reached the next round on four occasions and been eliminated twice. Having missed the league game in Leipzig, Motsen and Ken returned from suspension and Sabi Zucker from illness, infection, to the starting 11. Wolf, Ajkin and Mika dropped to the bench, where they were joined by the returning Malin and Haller. Both teams took to the field in a 4-3-3 formation but interpreted it differently. For the visitors, Right back Hakamai pushed so high up the pitch in possession of the ball that he was level with the three forwards, turning a 4-3-3 system into a 3-3-4. In the BVB ranks, meanwhile, left back Motsen advanced into central midfield several times during build-up play. Ryerson had a lot of freedom down the right, which the full back used to push up on numerous occasions. Borussia put their foot on the gas pedal from the beginning, pressed high threw Sabi Zucker and Fulkrug up top, turned over possession high up the pitch and thus stressed an opponent that had only two brief phases of dominance in the first quarter of an hour. And so it was the Black and Yellows who registered the first chance in a match that was contested with great intensity by both teams. Sabi Zucker received Brandt's pass and shot from the right of the six-yard box but the angle was so tight that Donnarumma could make the save, 14. Amid the summer temperatures, both teams allowed themselves a short breather midway through the first half. Paris often had the ball in this phase but predominantly in their own half. When the visitors went forward, they were met by a resolute defence that received support from across the board, especially from Adeyemi, whose defensive actions on the edge of his own penalty area were celebrated not only by the fans but by his teammates too. Then it was BVB's turn again, Brandt's powerful strike was blocked with difficulty, 30. The opening goal started from the defense. Schlotterbeck played a long through ball from the left side towards Fulkrug and the striker brought it down mid-run with his right foot before firing left-footed, with Hernandez in pursuit, inside the near post from 14 meters out, 36. And the black and yellows could have even up the lead to 2-0. Sabi Zucker struck Fulkrug's ball with full power in the box but Donnarumma made the save, 44. The halftime lead was deserved because BVB were more decisive in attack. Four of Dortmund's five shots at Donnarumma's goal were on target, while all four attempts from the Parisians went wide of the BVB goal. PSG seized the initiative after the restart and struck the post twice through Mbappe and Hakamai in one passage of play, 51. There was also a huge stroke of luck four minutes later when the unmarked Fabian headed wide. The chance ratio was now even. 3 to 3. The black and yellows faltered but fought back, calming and controlling proceedings once again and creating a big opportunity themselves to take a 2 to 0 lead. But Fulkrug leaned back as he met Sancho's cutback from the byline and fired over the target from 8 meters out, 60. He was clearly pushed on the right of the 6 yard box 3 minutes later but a penalty was not awarded. The game was at least now back on track apart from a hearts-in-mouths moment that was dealt with by Motsen, 72. BVB set the tone themselves, which also earned the respect of their opponents, who did not want to leave themselves too exposed. 
PSG remained dangerous but continued to spurn high quality chances when Dumble fired Hakamai's pass over the bar, 80. At the other end, Markenhaus thwarted Brandt and a second possible goal for Dortmund when he made a sliding intervention on the edge of the six yard box, 84. Outlook The return fixture will take place in Paris at 2100 hours cest next Tuesday. Beforehand, BVB will go up against FC Augsburg at home in the Bundesliga, Saturday 15.30 CEST. UEFA Champions League semi-final first leg. Borussia Dortmund 1-0, 1-0, Paris Saint-Germain. Bohr. Dortmund, Kobel, Ryerson, Wolf, 87, Hummels, Schlotterbeck, Motzen, Ken, Sabitzucker, Brandt, Nmika, 87, Sancho, Fulkrug, Makoko, 90 plus 1, Adayemi, Reus, 82. Paris Saint Germain, Donnarumma, Hakamai, Markenhaus, Biraldo, 42, Hernandez, Nuno Mendez, Vidinha, Zahir Emery, Fabian, Dumble, Mbappe, Barkala, Kolomuani, 65. Substitutes, Meyer, Lotka, Sewell, Haller, Bino Gittens, Ajkin, Wudgen, Malin, Navis, Tinas, Pereira, Mukiel, Skriner, Carlo Soler, Lee, Ugart, Asensio, Ramos. Goals, 1-0 Fulkrug, Schlotterbeck, 36. Corners, 4-3, 1-0 at halftime, chance ratio, 5-6, 3-0. Referee, Taylor, England, Yellow Cards, Motson, Schlotterbeck, Fabian. Attendance, 81,365, sold out, weather, dry, 23 degrees. Thank you for watching this video.